I just wanted you to give a review on some of the amazing com products that are available on the market. Um, many of you will have seen the classic Kong, which is generally used for stuffing. So putting treats inside, allowing the dog to uh, use their jaws and licking to try and remove the food from the inside. Um, this is a pretty much a standard piece of kit for many dog trainers, uh, tool bag to be recommended to anybody. Um, do make sure though that you stuff it to your dog's ability level and that it's the right size. Too small obviously it can get stuck, too big they're not going to be able to get their tongue down to the bottom. So I think the trick with this is to make sure you put some dry treats at the bottom so that they can and get the tongue all the way down to the bottom when they uh, finish and then don't fill it too tight um, but when you do have your dog that's very used to doing it you can fill it as tight as you like and potentially then freeze it and it can take them quite a long time to chew. These come in different sizes, they come in an extreme version which is a black one which is for more tough chewers, more robust. They also come in a puppy one which is a softer rubber. Um, very similar to the uh, Con Classic is the Con Binky which is basically the same as the Con Classic, however it's got this lovely handle, which is great when you're teaching the puppies that your hands holding treats is a great thing to do. Um, with the Kong, there's nothing really to hold on to, but with the Binky, you've got a handle so you can get your, you can guide your puppy into the right part and you can do part of the sharing exercise, which is great for teaching the puppies that hands are um, there to provide and not just to take away. Um, so carrying on with the stuffing range, um, there's this one here which is quite a new product which is two interlocking tubes which you can put kibble or um, pastes in between the two layers. I sometimes use them independently of each other and fill them with the dog's um, raw food. Um, makes it quite easy for them to access at both ends, a quite nice early learner one to do. Um, when they're learning to lick or you just want them to enjoy it fairly quickly. Um, we've got the Conquest Foragers, um, this is the flower one, quite nice, it, it rocks when you, um, if they ever have it on the floor, if you use it with dry food a clever dog will learn we just turn it over and then it's empty. So if you use this with paste they've got to empty the individual compartments um, and it's nice, I'd say with this one just be careful you put it in the dishwasher, as you can see mine's gone very warped where I dishwashed it. Um, but that's that's quite a favourite of mine for slow feeding. Um, Kong Duet, again you can put paste, you can put uh, kibble in these grooves here. Again it's quite a nice robust toy that they can play with as well once they've finished taking the food out. Frankfurters go quite nicely down the uh, grooves there as well which makes the dog finds quite interesting, quite difficult to grab hold of to get the bits out. Um, moving on more with the toys. Um, this one is called a tennis pal, it's a little sheep with a tennis ball in the middle, dogs need to work fairly hard to get the tennis ball out, you can hide treats underneath that just to make it a bit an extra challenge, it's also got quite a nice squeak, um, nice robust uh, plastic, it's not obviously it's totally indestructible but mine have had a little chew and they've chomped the feet away but actually still got, got it squeak, still nice robust little toy. Uh, a uh, uh, squeeze crackle this one's called which as rather than a squeak it's got like a plastic inside so it just crackles and rattles as you um, squeeze it nothing really to no squeaker to, to take out. Uh, Kong Wubbers they come in various sizes various materials um, yeah they've got a nice little robust squeak in the middle um, this one's quite a cute little puppy one it's all fluffy um, moving on more to the enrichment type toys, we've got a Kong Ballistic which is a clown shape which they open up and has got various pockets to put treats in. Uh, quite an easy one for them to do, um, nice if your dog doesn't like chewing things, um, isn't able to, you know, to chomp on some of the harder things but just likes to explore more with their paws, they can open this quite easily and then sniff the food out. Um, we've got the Kong Wobbler, which is a, a weighted base, um, put the kibble in, do it up, it's only got one dispensing hole and I would say that's its drawback if you've got a, a dog that mm, gives up quite easily. One of mine won't play with this one because she just finds the single hole is just too difficult. Um, 
my terrier absolutely loves it um, wobbling it around it always returns to upright but they do have to make sure they obviously wobble it um, over the hole key to that one where you're teaching is teaching them to use it is to make sure it's quite full so it pays out quite quickly and then they start to learn how to use it uh, Kong Rewards is a treat dispensing bowl um, these come in various different styles this one's a tennis ball one um, this one's got a bit of a rubber surface that's so quite slightly less crashy than some of the other treat balls um, it does only pay when it hold, rolls over that one hole um, there is a similar version called a Kong Gyro which is basically got an extra sort of donut around the edge of it so every single time it rotates over the donut um, it rotates around over the hole it pays out um, depending on your dog um, the less determined dog potentially could find this one quite frustrating um, because it doesn't pay out very often whereas the gyro is a lot easier for them to get the payout a very determined fast dog is going to um, get through the gyro very quickly um, so yeah again pick your pick your battles with your dogs there's no point in getting a making an exercise too difficult for the dog because they'll just get frustrated and give up and you'll just have high arousal and not won't really be achieving anything except you have a pent-up dog so um Kong tilts this is a lovely new one that really is i just look at it more as a slow feeder you put the food in there you screw it back up together and um Screw it together, it does go back together nicely. Um, as the dog wobbles it, the food sits in the middle, nice and easy to do, um, easy for them to stay interested. Um, nice little feeder there. Um, then we got the Kong replay, which is has weighted offset weighting here, so it rolls but it rolls back. You they roll it and it rolls back and it pays, it pays quite frequently. Um, so for an early starter, one that doesn't like playing with too many of these difficult toys, this is a good one. The spinet is on a similar basis, rolls around, however, he, they can roll it without the middle bit moving, so they have to learn to spin the middle bit. So that one's a more difficult one, um, but yeah, all lovely toys, it just depends on what your dog's determination levels are, how greedy they are. As a general rule, they come in generally at least two sizes um it's not worth i would say a lot of them i would go up a size rather than down the size if you're on the border of the two um but obviously that can make it more difficult um so consideration needs to be given to your particular dog okay any questions please please feel free to get in touch i can get hold of the majority of the corn products i stock quite a large selection but i can get the majority of all the others Okay, thank you. Take care.